Stefano. I really need to learn how to say good morning in Fijian. I just don't back myself. I think I know what it is, but I don't back myself, so I'm not gonna put that on the internet. Welcome to Fiji Vlog Part 2. I don't really have a game plan for the vlogging of this trip. In previous years, I've done it many different ways. I've done literal daily vlogs. I've done like a week of just like everything in one. But I'm kind of thinking, since we're gonna be doing a few activities in this trip, I'm kind of gonna section the vlogs off by activities. Previous vlog you would have seen, that was kind of us arriving, settling in, whatever. Today, we are going to do eco tracks, which we have been wanting to do for years. Like pretty much since it became a thing, which was like maybe like six or seven years ago. So we are going to do that today, all of us minus Poppy. Mum and Dad, Sage, Matthew, myself, and Sage's mum, Daryl. From what I can understand, it's set up on the old sugarcane rail line, like a bike, golf cart looking thing on the train track, which is also electrified. You bike for an hour away from where it starts, end up at a beach, chill there for like an hour, go snorkeling if you want, whatever. And then you bike back for an hour and you go like through villages and stuff, which is going to be so much fun. That's happening at 1.30 this afternoon, so we're getting picked up to be taken down the road to that. And then after that we're going up to the Wyndham, which is where we're staying for the rest of the trip. It's 20 to 9 and we need to go have breakfast and we're just not sure whether we have to be out of our room by 11 or 12. So we'll need to be out of our room before we actually go to Eco Tracks. I'll bring you guys along with me to the buffet breakfast and show you because it's so good. But I just realized I have a vlog from like when I was back in NZ that I still haven't posted. Today's a Monday, which is my normal upload day. I haven't posted in like three weeks, so I need to upload. I need to make a thumbnail so I can get that up. breakfast and I've commenced the task of repacking my bag because we have to check out in like a couple of hours but I need to show you guys my mahi from breakfast this morning took my cute little handbag with me not because I need to take anything to breakfast but because I decided that I want to have some donuts later on today so <laughs> I smuggled eight donuts out of the breakfast buffet five cinnamon ones and three jam ones I'm quite proud of that actually we all have snacks for the rest of the day but I need to carry on packing and decide what I'm gonna wear on this bike ride and then we'll need to check out and we'll be on our way hey guys editing Emma here popping up with a little bit of context because you may have just seen my dad pass through the back of the screen wearing an Emma's dad t-shirt let me just give you a little bit of context on that one my old flatmate Danny and I made that for him it was either for father's day or for his birthday because I had no idea what to get him and I was like oh this could be funny so it's a Kmart shirt we used the Cricut machine we printed the vinyl we put it on and I never thought he would wear it it says Emma's dad it's got his face and it has my YouTube link underneath it and I never thought he'd wear it but he literally wears it almost every single day so <laughs> There's the context for that one. Matt and Sage are staying at the resort across the road, which is where we went for dinner last night, if you saw the previous video. But Matt just rang to say that they are here at the Shangri-La and they're coming down to hang with us until we have to go off to Eco Track, so it's like still a couple of hours away. Out on the lawn where we're staying, there is a whole bunch of like little acorn coconut looking things. And I think they must be getting everyone to pick them up right now because look, there are just so many people just aimlessly wandering around. <laughs> I feel like it's like at school when the teacher's like, yeah. you need to pick up five pieces of rubbish before you can come inside. I feel like this is the equivalent. They're like, we can't play touch rugby until everyone yeah. picks up five little acorns. I stood on one the other day and it was like standing on a piece of Lego. Okay, you guys hold that and face your faces. Uh, our face. Is it going? Is then your phone? Yeah. Okay, you guys ready for this? Oh my! <laughs> How did you get that many? <laughs> Went to the buffet three different times and just kept getting donuts and then stuffing them in my handbag and then... <laughs> <laughs> A bunch of vlog footage but we've made it to the beach and got some donuts. Thank <laughs> Hey 
How was that? It's good, yeah. Bit of a workout. How was that? No. Oh. Good, 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 good. It's amazing. It was so yeah, good. It's incredible. <laughs> I also just realized I never actually wrapped up this vlog. Ecotrax, 11 out of 10 experience. Apart from the fact that my brother and I's bike wasn't quite working properly, but we got it fixed in the end, so it was fine. I've never done anything like that before in my life. It was so cool to go along the old rail track from the old sugarcane train so cool to interact with the people in the villages along the way the beach was stunning when we got there even though it was cloudy it was still an amazing time the hosts like the people working for eco tracks so funny so good shout out to Brittany, she was amazing anyway that was the eco tracks experience so i'll see you guys in the next vlog hola, hola. <laughs>